boar brush, boar, who, boar bristle brown brush. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am filming a how I blow dry my hair straight tutorial. Um, I generally will blow dry my hair straight every time I get out of the shower and either wear it straight or then curl it with a curling iron and wear it curly. Um, so I have just gotten out of the shower. Clearly I'm not wearing any, any makeup. My face is red. I still have breakouts. Um, but I figured I'd show you um, the process and the products that I use, the blow dryer I use, the paddle brush I use, and everything like that. So if you are interested, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so I just got out of the shower. I have nothing in my hair. The first thing that I'll generally do is go in with this Bumble and Bumble Repair Blow Dry heat protective cream for dry or damaged hair. So I did a lot of research. I was going back and forth between this one and um, the... What's that brand? What's that brand? Living Proof. They have uh, a similar, similar version to this one. It's like a style extender or something like that. Um, and I ended up going with this one. I really like it. I'm always very hesitant because I have thin hair that um, the product will be like too heavy, too greasy for my hair and weigh it down um, because I obviously am going for the voluminous thick full look that everybody wants. Um, so this product has been actually really great. I really enjoy it. Um, I love it, so that's what I'll do first. Alright, um, and I forgot to mention, so because this product is so awesome and it's so lightweight, I actually don't have any issues going into the root area, which I normally would be super, like, weary of, but basically, distribute that. My hair is actually drying a lot quicker than I would like it to. Um, so basically I just do that, and then I'm gonna go in, um, with my dirty brush. Just kidding. It's a little dirty. And so should have cleaned this out, but I didn't. I'm gonna go in with my brush. Olivia Garden Ceramic and Ion. I actually have a few of her brushes. Um, this is the first like flat paddle brush that I've purchased. All the other ones that I have are round brushes that I absolutely love. Uh, for some reason they always make leave my hair like feeling a lot silkier than when I just use like a boar brush. Boar? Who? Boar bristle round brush. Um, and another great thing about these are that there is, I'm assuming that's what this is for, like a sectioning pin. That's what I use it for. Um, either that or to help you clean out the brush. I'm not exactly sure, but you can use it for both because it works for both. This one specifically is the vented version, uh, which is really nice. It cuts down the blow dry time on your hair significantly. So I, I would recommend it. The only thing that I will say is that if you are the type of person like me um, to hold your blow dryer very close to your brush, um, I've already, and you can see they're kind of all in the same general area, um, some of the um, the little plastic pieces have come out, so that's the only one negative I will say. Um, but I don't have that issue with their round brushes, so take it for what it is. I still love the brush. I'll still use it. So yeah, I'm gonna brush that without ripping my hair out, because that's, that's not great. So I am going to brush that Bumble and Bumble product through my hair, and as you can see, uh, my hair is already um, starting to dry out, uh, and you do want your hair just about like 80 to 90 percent dry when you start to go into it with a blow dryer, which I'll talk about next. So, the blow dryer that I have been using, this is like old glory. It's broken, there's probably like burnt stains or toothpaste or one of all of the above, um, but this is the Rusk Engineering Weightless Blow Dryer. I want to say I got this like probably about five years ago, and it is amazing. I absolutely love it. I kind of am in the market to get a new one, a new blow dryer, um, just because I kind of want the nozzle attachments. This one I believe did have it, but I have lost those. And I do want something that's a little bit more powerful, but I do like this just for like an everyday. Um, so yeah. So I have gone in with the Bumble and Bumble Repair put that throughout my hair and I have brushed that through 
The next thing that I will do, um, I will either put in a mousse or um, I have this product here. So these are my three, feet, three favorites that I'll go in with. So either the John Frieda Luxurious Volume Perfectly Full. So this is one of the three. Um, so I'll either do one of these or this one. Uh, the second one is the Amica brand, the Perfect Body Whipped Mousse. Like this product, not a huge fan of the smell, so I'll tend to reach for the John Frieda, even though I feel like this one doesn't perform as well. Um, or I'll just go for this one. So this is the It's a 10 Miracle Blow Dry Volumizer. I will say with this one, um, it's a little bit more on the pricey side. Um, and do I see a huge difference? Yes, in terms of volume, but I also see a little bit more like residue, not residue, more grit with this one. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, um, but on first day hair, like if I, um, I don't know, if I know that I want my hair to be super sleek and easy to run my fingers through for any reason, I probably won't go for this one because it does like have that tacky like like it's great if you're gonna do like an updo or curl your hair that day, great for that. I just generally won't go for this one if I am going to uh, wear my hair straight. So take it for what you will. This time today. <laughs> so today I'm actually gonna go in with the John Frieda Luxurious Volume Perfectly Full Mousse adds vit vitality and lift for fine hair. Um, so I do like this one. The smell's okay. Oh, hmm. The aerosol. Alright. usually use about that much. My hair's on the shorter end. That might be a lot, but I do generally go into the roots with this. My hair is already starting to dry, so it's not going to be fun. Let me get through this. Um, so yeah. Then I will brush it through without pulling all of my hair out. I need a haircut when your hair becomes a little manageable to brush through you know it's about time to get those split ends taken care of okay so hmm. all right guys so after I have applied the um, either the miracle blow dry volumizer or one of the two mousses in my hair um, the next thing I will go in with is um, Paul Mitchell's super skinny serum and this honestly is just for my ends just to help with a little bit of moisture so yeah um, this is more so like heat protectant like I said locks in the moisture at like the ends of my hair kind of helps with my split ends as much as you can as much as it can as much as the product possibly could when you're blow drying your hair like every two days I don't apply too much just enough for the ends and I definitely do not apply this product near the top of my head or else I'd be a greasy ass mess. You're gonna have a bad hair day. It's gonna be really greasy. Not fun. I've done it. Not fun at all. Um, but yeah, I applied too much. I put too much in my hand so I'm just gonna wipe it. This is probably not gonna catch focus. Um, but that's none of my business. All right. So, I'm done with products. I generally will only have like three that I go in with before, like while my hair is still damp. So I used to go into like six different sections, especially when I like go and straighten my hair with like a flat iron. But now I generally, and my hair is a lot shorter also. So now I will generally just do two sections. Um, again, making sure that your hair is like 80% dry. Um, I I use a hair tie. I know this is probably like super damaging to my hair, but that's what haircuts are for every six weeks. Um, so yeah, I section my hair in two. Um, I'll start off with the bottom section and then I will do the whole top section as one. I generally try and go in first with like the warm or cooler option and then go in with the hot option and then I'll go in with the cool shot. So most blow dryers have some sort of switch that's indicating like a cool shot so it will get cool very quickly. Um, I generally will go in with that like after I'm complete with a section, I'll cool shot it so that it makes it extra shiny and keeps its hold, so. So I will show you how to do that now. And I'm gonna speed it up so you're not bored to death. Okay, let me start, bye.
I'm gonna take, just kidding, I normally use my finger, let me not front, but I'm going to take this, part it down the middle, and we'll keep on blow drying. shampoo or just leave it the way it is honestly if i was going somewhere later today i'd probably throw in a little bit of dry shampoo just to like give it some sort of texture but because i'm not going anywhere tonight and this is hair for work tomorrow i'm gonna leave it as is and put dry shampoo in tomorrow powder play that i really like on day two or three hair or beyond um the stuff is amazing especially if you are going for like the pc um like tousled soft curls like the beachy waves that are a little bit separated a little bit frizzy a little bit of texture this is great for that um, but if you are looking for a more sleek volume I would recommend this dry shampoo this is wonderful this is by the brand not your mother's their plump for joy bodybuilding dry shampoo in the scent orange mango I am super weird about scents. I don't like anything that is like super deodorant-y, deodorant I don't know, that's not a word. Um, but I don't like things that smell like powder, deodorant. I like more so like fruity floral type smells, so this is great. That's all. Bumble, bumble and bubble. If you're interested, then keep on watching. I can't speak. Or clearly, I'm not wearing any any makeup. My face is red. I still have breakouts. <laughs> 90s kids. <laughs>